times have we heard an inmate say they're innocent? They got the wrong guy. Well, in the case of Norman McIntosh, that's exactly what he said for 15 years. Until finally finding himself in an agonizing race against time to prove his innocence before his ailing father died. Now I'm thinking, I'm in prison, and he's going to die, and I'm not going to spend any time with him. Norman was just 23 when he was charged with this grisly murder, shooting dead a gang rival and wounding another on the south side of Chicago. They said that they supposed to rob me earlier in the day, and that was retaliation for it. Norman insisted from the beginning police had the wrong man and even provided them with an alibi. Earlier that morning, I checked into a hospital and uh, got treated for an illness and was at my girlfriend's house for the rest of the day. But Norman would be wrongfully convicted of first-degree murder and other charges and sentenced to 45 years in prison. And I just couldn't believe that it happened, knowing that I didn't commit a crime. Did you know that one day you would be free? At some points, I felt like I'd be free one day. Then at some points, I felt like I'd never get out. Then, after more than a decade behind bars, the victim's brother recanted evidence that had helped convict Norman, saying cops had coerced him into misidentifying Norman in a police lineup. The police said, look, if you don't testify and if you don't say it's him, we're going to put your brother's murder on you. With that, Norman's dying dad hired Jennifer Blagg, an attorney who specializes in wrongful conviction cases, and she tracked down other witnesses who had also falsely identified Norman in a lineup. I found the two 12-year-olds. They both recanted and told me the same story. I was like, did Norman do it? They're like, I don't know who did it, but James told us who to pick. And he said, pick the guy in the red shirt. But at the same time, Norman got news that his father, Norman Sr., had been diagnosed with terminal cancer and had only months to live. You sitting in a cell thinking about it, like, am I going to get a call tomorrow that he's passed away? His dad stood by him and believed in Norman's innocence from day one. He's been there from the moment I was arrested till now. And Norman's hope of being freed and seeing his father again jumped when Jennifer tracked down that alternate suspect, linking his fingerprints and car to the crime scene. I was actually able to refute all the evidence entered against Norman at trial, point to an alternate suspect, and practically prove it was the alternate suspect. See how standing there. And just last month, Norman McIntosh walked out of prison. No, man into the waiting arms of his overjoyed family. You don't think it's true. You're just hoping that it's, that it's really happening. It's unbelievable. And until you're out and away from the prison, then you start believing, okay, I'm really out now. Norman at last got to hug his 14-year-old son, Hassan, who was born just months after Norman was locked up. I can touch him without being in prison. And he would have a tearful reunion with his ailing dad, Norman Sr. Uh, I wasn't supposed to be here, but, but I am. Norman Sr. would die just weeks later, peaceful and content after seeing his son finally free. I think he held on as long as he did just so he could see me home.